uh, I'll say something, and each probably each person here will hear it a little bit differently. It'll mean something different, or some part of it will be more or less important to you, or something like that. Um, so in a sense, you yourself, each of you, at a different stage in your development would hear the same thing differently. And so when the beams talk to you, or the strong force, or the whatever, uh, depending on where you are in your training at that moment, yeah, different things will stand out, different things will seem important. Um, and, and my sense of that process is basically I'm just, I trust it, I'm in harmony with it. I just figure, oh, today I want to work on strong techniques, next day I want to work on uh, very sensitive techniques. One time I want to work on CoQ techniques, next time I want to work on wrist lock techniques, you know, or something like that. So uh, that's where my interest lies, that's what I go with. I told some of you this story until you're bored with it. When I started training, um, you know, I just trained with whoever I would train with. And then after a little while I started going to get the person that I wanted to train with. There was somebody in the room that I wanted to train with. I'd make sure that I got to them. And I'd go train with the people that I wanted to train. Not couldn't always, but that's what I would make that my practice. Then I got to the point where I would wait on the mat until the person that the new person that no one wanted to train with was left, or uh, Jeff, or whoever it was that everybody was <laughs> was having. A, you know, for for whatever for whatever reason, the person who was left on the mat that no one had chosen, I would go work with them. And then my, my final phase of that one was I would just pick the person in the room that I most didn't want to train with. And I would go train with them. But did you get the pattern? The first was just, well, okay, I did, you know, you're playing in the dark, you do whatever. The second was, I made sure that I went and worked with the people I wanted to work with. I really had set that up. Then when I felt like I had enough going, then I'd start to challenge myself with the harder ones and eventually with what I, you know, the ones that were specifically for me the hardest ones. And, uh, and, and there actually was only, uh, two people that I can remember in 25 years of training that I wouldn't train with. Uh, there was just one woman who we always used to clash, you know. I hadn't seen her for a couple of years. Three, four years later, I run into her. First technique, the same thing starts to happen. I just bowed eyes. Thank you very much. Went to train somewhere else. Um, I think it's the only time in my career that I can ever remember having done that. But it was just, I just could feel like, you know, I can tell where this one's going to go. I think I'll just skip this one. Uh, because it was my training. Now, there would have been a, a moment in my training when I would have thought, that's what I need to do. I need to work with that woman. Just happened to show up at a time when I thought, you know, I don't need to work with that woman. So, <laughs> I don't know how I got off on that, but, but um, 